Greetings fellow YouTubers, Irv Lindsay here. How you doing? You guys know at Irv TV we explore Cincinnati history and this afternoon I'm in Cheviot and today I'm going to tell you the tale of a graveyard, a forgotten graveyard, not just a forgotten graveyard, but an, a graveyard that's been erased from history. We're here at Bridgetown Cemetery. And I don't know exactly where, but somewhere here, we're at the top of the hill. I actually have a really good view of the countryside. But somewhere here is a gravesite where a large number of bodies were buried together. There's a lot of old graves here from the 1930s, early 1900s. But our story doesn't start at the Bridgetown Cemetery. It actually starts online. Uh, one of the reuse centers, reuse centers, you know, they're the places that go into an old building before it's demolished and they um, pull anything usable off the building. Then they offer it for sale uh, and you can go there and you can get uh, reclaimed lumber, stuff like that. Well, they found the, a tombstone of one Mary Jones. They found it in the basement of a building that had been being used for storage up off Queen City Avenue. Um, and they found this tombstone, an old tombstone, um, and the lady died in 1879 in May, and she was born in 1794. Um, now the funeral home was that they were, the building that they were, um, that was about to be demolished was originally, uh, now you know this wouldn't be Irv TV if I didn't mispronounce <laughs> something, uh, Vit Sturmer Funeral Home, founded in 1899. They currently, I think somewhere online said they actually still have a location somewhere in Cheviot. Alright, so here's the catch. Why was this lady's tombstone, headstone, gravestone, if you will, why was it in the basement, just loose, in storage in the basement of an old building off of Queen City Avenue? All right, guys. This should be a familiar sight to most West Siders that travel down Harrison Avenue. We're right here near Glenmore, and you guys know, the, know these little blue... These little blue tables that sit right along the edge of Harrison, they're right across the street from this old cemetery. Uh, I've seen it referred to by a couple of different names. I believe it's an old Baptist cemetery. Somebody chime in and tell me if you know more about this cemetery. It has a banner on it that says, that says City of Cheviot. Uh, but years ago, this cemetery was right across the street from another cemetery. In 1976, the powers that be decided they needed a parking lot. And as you know, municipal leaders often think that old cemeteries make great places to build stuff, or in this case, not build stuff and turn it into a parking lot. Which brings us back to the story of our lost tombstone, which was found in the basement of an old funeral home building over on Queen City Avenue that was being used for storage. Mary Jones was originally buried right here. Well, what happened when they decided to build a parking lot? 
they do what they always say they do. They dig the bodies up and move them. Sometimes they're very blatant about it, like Madison Park over, over on the other side of town. They didn't even dig those bodies up. They just threw the headstones away. Well, in this case, they supposedly dug the bodies up and they took them over to Bridgetown Cemetery and buried them in a mass grave plot. Mary Jones headstone ended up in the basement of that cemetery, I mean of that uh, of that funeral home. And uh, supposedly, Bridgetown Cemetery has a list of names of bodies that were transferred to the mass grave. Surprise, surprise, her name isn't on it. Which begs the question, my friends, did they transfer the body? Did they dig it up and rebury it? Because I believe, my personal belief is more times than not, it's easier just to move the headstones and not dig the bodies up. So is Mary Jones born in 1794? Is she still here buried under the parking lot? I don't know. That's creepy. So if you park your cars here, or your car here on a regular basis, did you know it was it used to be a cemetery? Because I mean, 1976 wasn't that long ago. Don't we have laws to, do they still do this stuff? Do we have laws to protect us from being reburied because somebody figures, nah, it's been a graveyard long enough. We're gonna do something else with it now. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your week. Keep fighting a good fight and hey, I'll see you in the next video.